Hello everybody, my name is Shitanshu and today in this video I've got two great updates. The first update is for all those people who have been waiting in the queue to get the Canadian visitor visa, whether it's for you or for your parents, for your spouse or some of your relatives or friends. If you have applied and you are waiting in the queue for the visitor visa, there might be a great news for you. And the second one is got to do with Alberta PNP. For all those people who want to immigrate to Alberta, the chances of you getting the Alberta PNP might be high. We will talk about that as well. But first, let me wish all the Indians watching this video from any part of the world a very happy Republic Day. And okay, if it's a happy day, let me try to make it even more happier for you. So a few days ago, there was a news published on the leading Canadian newspaper, The Globe and Mail. And it says that Canada is actually looking for aggressive measures to clear their backlog. So if you follow some Canadian immigration updates, you might be aware that there has been a backlog of more than 2 million applications since last couple of years. So finally, Canada is thinking of actually taking a very bold step where they could remove a very important eligibility criteria from the visitor visa applications. So nearly half a million applications for the visitor visa might get approved because the biggest reason or the most probable reason for rejection is that you have to prove that you will leave Canada at the end of your stay. But they might be removing this clause, which would mean that all the work that we do, the documents that we collect to show that we have very strong ties with our home country. For example, if I talk about India, so we have to prove that, okay, we have got property there, we have got family there, we have got our job there and all the things like we have to show that, okay, we have got, you know, good amount of money in our accounts. We will be going back to our home country as part of visitor visa after we complete our stay here in Canada. And this is the most common reason why most of the visitor visa gets rejected because they're not convinced that you would actually leave Canada at the end of your stay. They think that, okay, maybe you would continue to stay here for long and try to, you know, convert your visitor visa into some other visas. So that is the biggest reason why most of the visitor visas actually get rejected. But if they remove this stipulation, probably most of the visas that are there would get approved. Yes, there would be another check that would still be in place. That would be about your criminality. If you have any criminal backgrounds or not, because obviously they would be concerned about the security here. And obviously they would not like any, any person with the criminal backgrounds to enter Canada. So if that check is in place, then most probably your visitor visa is going to get approved. Again, I cannot verify the authenticity of this news because even the Globe and Mail cannot do that. They actually got access to an internal memo which actually suggests that ICC is looking to opt for this aggressive step to clear the backlog. However, ICC hasn't confirmed anything as such, but they're expecting that this would happen sometime in the month of February. And if that happens, I'll definitely make a detailed video on that. And probably that would be a very good news for so many, like hundreds and thousands of people actually waiting to get their visitor visas. Probably this would be a one-time opportunity. So maybe if you're just thinking of actually applying for the visitor visa, maybe this is the right time. If you were thinking of doing it in the next month, maybe try and do it as early as possible. You never know, you might get lucky. Okay, now the second update is about Alberta PNP. So as I told you earlier, there's a small good news from Alberta PNP as well. It is for all those people who might have their family members already living in Alberta as the Canadian citizen or the permanent resident. So if you have your family members in Alberta, which means your parents, child or siblings. In that case, your application could get prioritized over other applications that are there. Because the Alberta government is going to allocate 25% of its NOIs to all the people who might have got family members in Alberta if you have work experience in the occupation which are in demand in Alberta. So a couple of years ago, I made a detailed video on the Alberta PNP. If you haven't watched that video, I'll provide the link in the description box below. So just a few days back in the month of January, the Alberta government actually announced that they would be having this 25% allocation. So that sums up the video. I'll definitely make a detailed video about the confirmed news if and when Canada actually takes that drastic aggressive measure as they call it when they approve 
most of the visitor visa applications i mean that would be a very good day for many people so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please click the subscribe button if you have any questions any queries please put them down in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching this video